Liverpool. For years, these fans have been renowned as Britain's best throughout Europe. But for many Liverpool fans, they feel that the atmosphere in Anfield has been hindered by rising fans who are distracted by social media during the game and the increase of corporate and hospitality tickets. But one aspect keeps coming up. Standing. Despite the government's insistence that all top flight stadia must be completely seated, many fans in Liverpool's famous cop end still choose to stand during games. This creates fresh safety concerns and in doing so begs the question, should we be more open to the idea of safe standing, even after all that's come before? To find out a bit more about how safe standing works, I headed to Hanover 96 in Germany, who have had safe standing at their HDI arena since 2005, without having any incidents recorded. Curious, I met up with Johannes Seidel, a supporter liaison officer at the club. Well, in, in Hanover we've only had positive uh, experiences with safe standing. Um, the atmosphere is a lot better here than in, in other sections. People can sit, uh, stand together with their, uh, with, their, with their friends. We sell tickets for each block so you can, you can choose uh, who you want to stand with. It's a lot easier singing while you're standing. It's a lot safer because we have these uh, crash barriers so you can't, can't fall off. Um, as soon as you score a goal, you know, people, people meet up uh, and celebrate together and you, you've got no chance of falling, falling down. So it's only positive effects really. The concept of rail seats, as it's formerly known, is very simple. For domestic games, the seats are locked upright, allowing for maximum room for fans to stand in between two crash barriers. Then, on European and international games, a groundsman will come round and lower each seat to comply with UEFA all seater regulations. With such an intense atmosphere, critics of safe standing have claimed it will deter women and children from wanting to go. Head of the Safe Standing Roadshow, John Dark, said the claims were nonsense. I, I think it depends, on, it depends on how tall they are, to be honest. It's a bit like going on a, on a ride at a theme park, you know, uh, Disney and whatever, they don't allow kids below a certain height to, to ride on certain rides. So I think it's down to, to the parent, the guardian, you know, if they think their child is, is tall enough and take them in. I know one father recently took a six-year-old to Celtic Park to, to watch the game there and, and the kid wants to go back every week. Absolutely loved it. His dad said he couldn't, he couldn't stop jumping up and down. Totally thrilled with the idea. So yeah, if they're tall enough that they can see, then why not? Because it is so safe. It's much safer for a small kid actually, you know, in this sort of environment than on a normal terrace because their small child can get pushed around a little bit. Yeah, so uh, some of our opponents do say, oh, football's become very family friendly over the last 20 odd years. And if we have standing back again, suddenly all the women and children will be frightened off. It's nonsense. For a start, standing hasn't gone away. You know, we've got it already in, in our Premier League grounds, just it's behind normal seats. And secondly, there are plenty of women and children who do like to stand. You look at um, some League One, League Two grounds and you'll see on their terraces, you know, women, children standing. So it's a, it's a complete fallacy. But those women, children and middle-aged and old blokes who prefer to sit, safe standing is good for them as well. Because it means in the seated areas, nobody will stand. Because all the people that want to stand will be in the standing area. So it's, it's the best for everybody. Those that want to stand do so in a very, very safe environment. Those who want to sit know they're amongst like-minded people who want to watch the game sat down apart from when the team scores a goal. Laws across England and Welsh football mean that real seats cannot be installed for fans who do choose to stand at games in the top two divisions. North of the border in Glasgow, Celtic have become the first team in Britain to trial safe standing in their north curve. And after years of planning, the results have been emphatic. Paul Taylor is the middle man between board and fans at the club. He explained the process Celtic went through to install their seating at Parkhead. We'd been building towards it for a couple of, a couple of years and had some, some meetings with Glasgow City Council and Safety Advisory Group to put forward our, our proposals and request for a licence to operate a safe standing system. So 
over that period of time what we did was we worked with fans who were predominantly based in this part of the ground. So there was one sort of core group of fans who continually stood at matches and we knew that they were always going to stand at matches. So over the piece what we did is we kind of tried to develop a kind of relationship with the, with the boys as part of the group and then over time when we kind of believed that we had a chance of maybe getting the licence we then started to work with them to discuss what the layout would look like and how we could help them and how they could help us in terms of management and within the within the section. Um, so so we did that and we also asked for some assistance of a guy called Steve Frosdick. He's an expert in crowd dynamics and crowd management. St Steve's guidance was invaluable for us because he he spent some time with the with the group involved explaining why they couldn't do certain things and why they how they could do certain things and just. I think that, that expertise and explaining that without the club having been too involved in trying to tell people, um, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that. Steve has got the knowledge and he's, he's, he's an expert throughout European football, so he was able to explain it in a way that everybody was happy. So that's kind of how we got there. Um, it, was a, it was a wee bit of a process, but, but, but we, got, we got there. The attention the North Curve got from British fans soared. Huge ties in Europe, like the game against Manchester City, really opened many fans' eyes as to what real seating was all about. It began to capture the imagination of many fans from Merseyside, who have become disillusioned with the current Anfield atmosphere. Gareth Roberts from the Anfield Rap is one such fan. He has publicly vented his frustration at the Anfield atmosphere and has started the conversation amongst Liverpool fans on safe standing. I think if you look at the cop, there is still a culture that remains of taking in banners, of flags, of singing. And I just think you need to get all the people who were who associated to that together in one space and help them create a noise. It's been tried to an extent in the past with Section 306 in the COP, but that's unofficial if you like. And I don't think it particularly works because of where it is in the COP. And also the people who got re relocated to that section, a lot of them are quite old now. And I think, you know, what's important is to get youth in the ground and to get youth in the ground in a situation where they can bring flags and banners, where they can sing, where they can jump up and down and shout. And at the moment the COP isn't that because, you know, anyone who goes there regularly will know that you know if you stand up people will tell, some people will want will tell you to sit down and, and people who are sitting down will get told to stand up and you know you've got this weird situation where the cop isn't what it once was when you went into the cop when it was standing you knew what you were getting into and if you didn't like it you went in the Kemlin Road or you went in the main stand right now I think you've got people who go in the cop who want to be at, make the atmosphere make the noise you've got other people who just treat it like any old normal stand and for me if you've got a safe stand, standing section a rail seating section that is dedicated to creating atmosphere then everyone who goes in it knows what they're getting into and knows what they're going in there for and that will benefit the atmosphere at Anfield. I can't stress enough uh, the serious nature of what's happened at Hillsborough today. We have unfortunately witnessed um, a tragedy um, of some proportion, quite what proportion we cannot yet obviously establish but you've heard as much as we can tell you for the moment and naturally uh, we should be reporting into Grandstand further, uh, the more we can clarify uh, the very sad and serious events which have happened here at the FA Cup semi-final. Now more and more stretchers or would-be stretchers are being brought from all sides of the ground, from uh, all the perimeter boards are now being used to take fans who are stretched out in and around that penalty area to some kind of first aid centre or treatment room. And it does look, I'm afraid, a very serious scene from up here. Many survivors of Hillsborough and the families are against any return of standing to football. Though many fans agree that atmosphere in Anfield is suffering, they remain loyal to the Hillsborough Family Support Group, who remain opposed to real seating. No. no. Why not? Because I was at Hillsborough. It might be OK but other grounds. Uh, but I don't think Liverpool it would, it would go down very well, to be honest with you. But not all those at Hillsborough are against Bill Seating returning. Dr Rogan Taylor was there on that day, just over 28 years ago. He was instrumental in setting up the Football Supporters Association in the aftermath of Hillsborough and said there was nothing inherently unsafe about terracing, only methods of crowd control. I don't think anybody who knows anything about it can argue anything other 
that the German system manages to have very large numbers of very enthusiastic fans in, you know, in, in, in huge stands and there isn't a problem and there hasn't been, you know, apart from occasional hooligan issues maybe, but very minor. So I don't think anybody, I don't think anyone of any sense has got an argument about that. There's, there's, in this city, there's a very strong emotional argument about that because both these clubs live under the shadow of 96 dead football fans. Are. Official supporter group, the Spirit of Shankly, have been discussing for several months what their stance will be on rail seating after holding talks with members, Hillsborough families and ground safety experts. The growth in interest in Britain in the last year has been astronomical. In a poll conducted by the Anfield Rap, 83% of Liverpool fans said they would like to see something similar at Celtic trialled at Anfield. And, having experienced safe standing myself, it's easy to understand why. Und noch zwei, drei Wochen. Zu